Hello, and welcome to this short video on Cummins Air Cool Generator Set installation. The objective of this video is to provide examples for installing the electrical connections for the generator set and automatic transfer switch. This video covers C13 through C20 N6H product models. Installation steps for the generator set are found in the installation manual and the Quick Start installation guide that can be found on QuickServe Online. Note that this video is not a substitute for the information found in these documents. Refer to these documents before attempting to start a generator set installation for all required safety and compliance information and the complete procedures. All steps in this video should be done with the battery removed from the generator set and battery cables locked and tagged out. Electrical materials that are required include AC power wires or load cables, a 120 volt accessory circuit with 20 amp protection, DC control wires, electrical conduit, and ethernet cables if you are using the remote monitoring feature. There are three types of electrical connections to be made on the generator set and ATS system. AC load cable connections, AC accessory or shore power connections, and the DC control connections. Please be aware that any work inside of the transfer switch will expose energized conductors from the utility entrance side. The utility entrance connections upstream of the ATS must be isolated, proved dead, and locked and tagged out to establish an electrically safe work condition in accordance with NFPA 70E. Refer to regional codes and the National Electrical Code for all electrical connections. AC load connections are made at the circuit breaker on the front side of the generator set, and the accessory AC and control DC connections are made on the generator set harness near the engine intake manifold. Access these connection points by removing the air intake enclosure panel and the top interior panel of the generator set. Run the wires through a conduit from the automatic transfer switch to the generator set. The conduit connects to the existing hole on the side enclosure panel. This hole can be enlarged to match the conduit used. Remove the front cover panel from the circuit breaker to access the load cable lugs. Connect the line 1 and line 2 conductors by feeding them up into the bottom of the circuit breaker. Tighten the lugs onto the load conductors, then torque to 45 inch-pounds, and replace the breaker cover panel. Unless there is no utility source connected to the ATS or the building loads, remove the neutral to ground bonding wire inside the generator set. The wire is connected between the ground lug on the generator set base and the neutral lug on the back of the circuit breaker. Always refer to the National Electrical Code for correct grounding and neutral bonding requirements. After the neutral bond is removed, connect the neutral conductor to the neutral leg on the back side of the circuit breaker. Then, connect the ground conductor to the ground lug on the generator set base. Torque each lug to 120 inch-pounds. On the ATS, connect the load cables to their marked locations for line 1, line 2, neutral, and ground. Torque these lugs to the values specified in the ATS owner manual. Next, connect the DC control wires for the ATS. The connections are labeled on the generator set harness, located near the engine intake manifold. Open the connector clamp, insert the wire, and close the connector clamp to secure the wire. The connections in this example include remote start, battery negative, and transfer control signals. More information about the ATS control wires can be found in the ATS owner manual. The 120 volt accessory power supply is also connected into the generator set wiring harness. This must be a 20 amp protected circuit taken from the utility supply. It is used to power accessories such as the alternator heater, battery charger, battery heater, and engine oil heater. Ensure the 120 volt accessory power supply is in a safe electrical work condition, then connect the wires marked ground, line, and neutral. The DC control wires connect to the automatic transfer switch at terminal block TB4 on the left side of the switch. For these generator set models with the RA112L1 automatic transfer switch, there must be a jumper installed across terminals 3 and 4 of TB4 
to provide the correct type of transfer control signal. The three DC control wires that were connected to the generator set are connected in the ATS at TB4. After the connections have been made, replace and secure all covers on the ATS and the generator set. When all covers have been secured correctly, you can remove any lockout tagout devices and energize the transfer switch. The next step in installation will be configuration of the generator set control. If you have any questions or are unsure about any of the installation steps, call 1-800-Cummins for factory assistance.